Hello good day viewers. This is the continuation of our previous lesson on how to solve a homogeneous differential equation. I have another example here which is dy over dx is equal to 2xy plus 3y squared divided by x squared plus 2xy. Remember in homogeneous differential equation you cannot separate the variables hence we substitute y equals to vx where v equals to y over x by differentiating y with respect to x where v is also a function of x we often dy over dx equal to v plus x dv over dx therefore we are going to substitute for this y and dy over dx in our main equation dy over dx here now equal to v plus x dv over dx so instead of dy over dx we write this v plus x dv over dx this is equal to to the right hand side we are going to substitute for y we have 2x times y meaning 2x times vx which is going to make it 2v x squared because this x is going to multiply this x plus 3y squared meaning 3 times this squared 3 v squared x squared divide by we have x squared plus 2x times y meaning 2 v x squared if you look at these terms all of them contain x squared so we are going to divide each term by x squared in order to eliminate x squared from the left hand side we have v plus x dv over dx and to the right hand side we have 2v plus 3v squared divided by 1 plus 2v because we have divided each term by x squared next thing we are going to do we are going to take v to the right hand side leaving x squared leaving x dv over dx and to the right hand side we have 2v plus 3v squared divided by 1 plus 2v minus we are minusing v but to ensure we have common denominator we are going to multiply v with 1 plus 2v v times 1 is v plus v times 2v is 2 v squared divided by now we can write 1 plus 2v x dv over dx is now equal to 2v minus v is v 3v squared minus 2v squared is v squared divided by the common denominator which is 1 plus 2v we are going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this term therefore it is going to cliff over so we have 1 plus 2v divided by v plus v squared already we have dv there dv and to the right hand side we are going to take x and dx to the right hand side x is multiplying here to the right hand side it is going to divide dx is dividing here to the right hand side it will multiply next step we are going to take the entire derivative of each side if you look at this numerator it is exactly the same as the derivative of the denominator therefore if we integrate this side we are going to obtain the natural log of the absolute value of v plus v squared and to the right hand side we have the natural log of x plus the constant of integration which we can also write in log form because natural log of constant is still constant natural log of v plus v squared is equal to we can write these two terms in such a way they will have a common log natural log of 
now they will multiply cx now log can cancel log and v plus v squared will now be equal to cx but remember our v is equal to y over x so we have y over x plus y squared over x squared this is equal to cx to clear the fraction we can multiply each term by x squared so if you multiply this term by x squared you are going to obtain xy because x will cancel one of the x plus y squared because x squared will cancel x squared and to the right hand side we have c x cubed x squared times x is x cubed hence this is the solution for our homogeneous differential equation thank you for watching do have a nice day